The glymphatic system is the brain's own special detox system, and it's one of the most important and least talked about systems when it comes to mental clarity, memory, and long-term brain health. In this video, I want to break down what the glymphatic system is, how it works, when it's most active, and what you can do to support it naturally. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, what even is the glymphatic system? It's basically your brain's waste removal and cleanup crew. It was only discovered in the last couple of decades, so it's still relatively new to mainstream science and not everything is completely understood yet. But the more we learn about it, the more we realize how crucial it is. Think of it like this. During the day, your brain is constantly working, processing information, dealing with stress, running your nervous system, and managing every thought you have. Just like any other organ, that work creates waste byproducts, which obviously need to be cleared out. That's where the glymphatic system comes in. It is made up of channels formed by glial cells, which gives it the name from glia and lymphatic. And these channels allow cerebrospinal fluid to flow through the brain tissue, flushing out waste products, toxins, and even things like excess proteins, including beta amyloid, which is linked to Alzheimer's when it builds up. The reason this is so important is because unlike the rest of your body, your brain doesn't have a standard lymphatic system. So this glymphatic system is its main way of detoxifying itself. Let me quickly walk you through how it works in action so you know how it should function at optimal capacity. First, cerebrospinal fluid flows into the brain along arteries pushed by the pulsing of your heartbeat. The fluid is then moved through the brain tissue, picking up waste products, toxins, and metabolic junk. Lastly, it exits the brain along veins, carrying the waste out of the central nervous system and into the lymph system for processing and elimination. This all happens between your brain cells in the space called the interstitial fluid. During deep sleep, this space actually expands, allowing more room for the fluid to flow and clean out the brain more effectively. So if you're not getting enough sleep, this whole process is compromised and toxins can start to build up in the brain. Now, when exactly is the glymphatic system most active? Usually during deep sleep, specifically slow wave sleep, which normally occurs early in the night. This is important to know because most adults spend only around 10 to 20% of their sleep in slow wave sleep. It's also why sleep quality and timing matter so much. If you're staying up too late and waking up a lot or not getting into the deep sleep state, your brain misses out on some of its slow wave sleep. And if this happens regularly, your glymphatic system will be underactive. In such a case, waste and toxins start to accumulate and like I said before, this can contribute to all kinds of symptoms like brain fog, poor concentration, trouble with memory, headaches, or a feeling of pressure in the head. Over time, poor glymphatic function has also been linked to serious neurological issues, like an increase in your risk of Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and other neurodegenerative diseases. But even on a day-to-day -day level, if your brain isn't draining properly, you're just not going to feel sharp or mentally clear. Okay, with all of that said, on to the interesting part. How do you boost the glymphatic system? The good news is that there's a lot of simple things that you can do to support and enhance it. You don't need to take drastic measures, just consistent healthy habits that promote good sleep and circulation. Let's start with a few lifestyle tips and then let's later also talk about nutrient support. In terms of lifestyle, it really comes down to the basics, which means one, getting enough deep sleep. This is by far the most important factor. Aim for seven to nine hours of sleep per night and try to be asleep before midnight. That's when your body and brain get into the deepest, most restorative stages of sleep. Like I said before, especially the slow wave sleep is important here, which is fairly short. Next, movement. As you know, the lymphatic system doesn't have a pump like the heart for the blood. So you need to stimulate it manually through movement. Well, the glymphatic system is similar and also relies a lot on outside movement. 
Some sources even recommend buying a trampoline, although I'm not sure this is practical for most people. So instead, focus on regular exercise, which increases overall blood flow, as well as normal things like walking, or if you want, also slow movements like yoga or tai chi. Dry brushing for better lymph flow should also help, since the glymphatic and the lymphatic systems are somewhat connected. Three is posture, which also affects the glymphatic system, both during sleep and while you're awake. While the data is still emerging because the glymphatic system is so new, there are some interesting findings worth knowing, especially if you're building a brain health protocol. For sleeping posture, side sleeping seems to be the best for glymphatic flow. One study in rodents found that lateral sleeping improved glymphatic clearance significantly more than back or stomach sleeping. The researchers suspect that this is because side sleeping improves cerebral spinal fluid flow and reduces resistance and drainage pathways. Now, side sleeping also mimics the common sleep posture of many animals, which could indicate that it evolved for brain clearance. Now, at this point, I should say that I'm not sure you should worry too much about your sleeping position. Because if you normally sleep on your side already, you will already be doing it. And if you don't sleep on your side, then you can definitely give it a try. But keep in mind that sleeping in an unnatural position can also cause stress and therefore decrease your sleep quality. So you kind of have to see for yourself if this is worth worrying about. Next, daytime posture. Even though glymphatic flow is mostly active during sleep, your daytime posture can still influence how well your cerebrospinal fluid circulates and therefore drains. You generally want to keep your head in a neutral position, so not too far forward or tilted, which will reduce pressure on the cervical spine and support fluid exchange between the brain and spinal cord. And you also want to avoid long periods of sitting or slouching, which can lead to neck and spinal compression. Lastly, and this should be obvious, you also always want to stay hydrated. Cerebral spinal fluid is made mostly of water, so drinking enough water every day helps the glymphatic system function properly. This is pretty standard stuff. Great, onto nutrient support. Let's first talk about nutrients that help with overall sleep quality and then nutrients that directly affect the glymphatic system. In terms of overall sleep support, we have things like magnesium, vitamin B6, or 5-HTP. These are nutrients that help produce melatonin or help calm you down. For example, magnesium relaxes muscles and the nervous system, and it is deficient in many people. Vitamin B6 and 5-HTP are key building blocks for melatonin, and without them, your sleep quality will suffer. Of course, there are several other calming nutrients that you might also want to check out, like glycine, taurine, lithium, or theanine, which we also know promote better relaxation and should therefore also help with deeper sleep. I won't cover them in this video because it would make it too long, but definitely check them out if you're interested. Next, let's look at nutrients that can be directly tied to the glymphatic system. Because research on it is so new, there are really only a few to talk about. For example, a 2025 study found a significant positive correlation between serum zinc levels and glymphatic system activity. This suggests that adequate zinc levels are needed to support brain waste clearance. This is awesome news, since zinc is a great overall detoxifying agent because it also helps clear toxic metals and improves immunity. Unfortunately, and similar to magnesium, a lot of people are borderline zinc deficient, especially vegans and vegetarians. Next is curcumin, the active compound in turmeric. It's well known for its anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effect, especially when it comes to brain health. While there's not a ton of direct research linking curcumin to the lymphatic system, what we do know suggests that it could still be very helpful. You see, there are a few studies that suggest it helps the brain get rid of amyloid plaques, which is the kind of waste the lymphatic system is meant to flush out. So it isn't far-fetched to assume that curcumin and turmeric also have positive effects on the glymphatic system as a whole. And lastly, and this shouldn't be surprising, omega-3 fatty acids are also tied to improved glymphatic clearance. Again, mostly by improving amyloid plaque removal, 
but also by reducing neuroinflammation and improving microvascular health. Since most people nowadays don't get enough omega-3s in their diet, definitely look at ways of increasing your intake. Great. Before I wrap up this video, let me give you one more very promising tip. Next to everything we just talked about, photobiomodulation therapy, so red light or near infrared light therapy, is also gaining attention for its potential to support the glymphatic system. Some early research indicates that this type of light enhances glymphatic clearance by improving the function of key players like AQP4, which is the water channel protein that helps drive fluid movement through the brain. The theory is that by improving cerebral blood flow and reducing oxidative stress, near-infrared light helps create an environment where glymphatic drainage can work more efficiently. While most of this data comes from animal models and more human research is definitely needed, it looks very promising as a non-invasive therapy to improve your brain health. And since you can build your own near-infrared sauna or buy it for relatively cheap online, this is just another argument to get one. That being said, if you want to try this out, you have to be careful about shining the red light directly in your hand. This is purely anecdotal, but it can definitely be too intense. So even if it offers glymphatic support, I would still shine the light mostly on the rest of your body and not so much at your face or head. This is just something I wanted to mention on this side. Okay. So all in all, the glymphatic system is one of the most fascinating and important detox systems in your body. And most people have never even heard of it. It's your brain's built-in cleaning crew and it works best while you're sleeping very deeply. Much of the strategies to improve it come down to following an overall more healthy lifestyle, which you should be doing anyway. On top of that, there are a few targeted things like zinc, turmeric, and photobiomodulation that can help push things further along.